Howdy guys, welcome back to Classic Garage, this is John. Here's one I ain't shown you yet. This is my 1972 Chrysler Newport. I have had this car for what seems like forever. <laughs> I've had it for, um, I think going on six years now. I used to drive it everywhere. This used to be my everyday car for a long time. It wasn't very reliable though, but I loved it anyway. It, right now, it's in theory in the middle of an engine rebuild. <clears throat> Let me show you under the hood. It's been sitting here a while like this. I got the engine torn apart. And I ain't had a chance to take it to the machine shop because this is in Indiana and I live in Tennessee now. So <clears throat> it's kind of hard to rebuild an engine in a place where you, you aren't at. I still got all the parts. I, I bought, I've already got all the parts for the engine rebuild, but I need to take this to the machine shop and have it bored. Um, what had happened to it, a screw had gotten into one of the cylinders somehow, and I'm sure you can put together the rest of the story, but anyways, long story short, here it sits. This is a 400, Chrysler 400. Now this car, as much as I hate to admit it, like I said, it wasn't very reliable, and it seemed to have everything wrong with it. The brakes were no good. The rear end howled real loud. The engine you could barely keep running. But it looked brand new. <laughs> at the time at least. This hood used to shine so much you could see your face in it. And I'm sure if I gave it a wash it would still look the same. And this is a monster of a car. Let me give you a tour of the inside. Well, if I can find the key. Hmm. By the way, original Chrysler keys. Well, now I know this is, there we go, there we go. Push button handles. Green everything. Now, like I said, I've had this a long time. It always had plastic on the seats and they're like brand new. I kept a blanket up on the dash pad so that it would stay nice while it's been waiting for me to get finished fixing it so no cracks in that i love the sideways speedometer in these old cars it's got eighty thousand five hundred miles when i got it it had 70,000 miles on it, I'm pretty sure. And I, like I said, I drove this thing everywhere. It's got all kind of options on it. Power windows. <clears throat> remote mirrors. AM, FM radio, which is fairly hard to get in these cars. Uh, rear defrost. Well, defog, not defrost. Um, power brakes, power steering, and this, uh, there is so much space in here, and I got the glove box and heater box apart, because while I was fixing the engine, I figured I might as well fix the air conditioning too, and, uh, I, I made part of a video about that, but I never finished it, and I really should finish that video, because... There ain't a, 
a soul on YouTube with a video on how to take apart them heater boxes. And they're a real pain. Headliners in good shape. I really love this car. More than... More love than it showed me for sure. <laughs> the biggest problem with this car while I had it was the steering was so loose. And you had to ping pong the steering wheel back and forth to stay going straight. And that's why the steering column's laying down like this. Because I have that apart too. As I was replacing the steering gear box. <clears throat> Anyhow. We're back up here. Remember. By subscribing. You're helping me to perform restorations and to do engine repairs and engine rebuilds and show you all them good things to do your own cars and to help me restore mine and keep them on the road. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe to help me do these things. And I will see you next time.